Hey, Zane Gang, before we start this video, look at this, look at this, look at it. So beautiful, so beautiful. We had 2,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Uh, you surpassed, like, anything I imagined this channel really to get to. Like, 1,000 I thought was impossible, and now we've broken 2,000. I don't really know what to say. All I can say is thank you guys, like, so much. I really do appreciate all the support you guys gave me. That's why I'm still here working my butt off, making plenty of videos every day. All the nice comments, I have to say thank you guys, too. Everybody's always leaving me nice comments. I really appreciate it. Like, there's not really any toxic comments. Maybe it's because I'm not large enough yet. I don't know. We'll see in the future. But if you guys would like to join more of my community, um, there is uh, links in every single description of every video. Go check them out. I have a Discord, a Twitter, and a Mixer. But now let's start the video. Hello, Zane Gang. We are doing another luck testy video kind of thing. A very common message I see in my videos is just do slaughter shaft for legendaries. So I wanted to test out the slaughter shaft drop rate. I still don't suggest slaughter shaft over agonizer, whether what this video pumps out until you are ready and you can do slaughter shaft perfectly every time. But I do want to test if Slaughter Shaft or Agonizer will yield more legendaries. I do not actually know for sure, but I think Agonizer might yield more. I tested it out in my Discord. I asked everybody what they thought in a poll, and it was clearly obvious a lot of people believe Slaughter Shaft drops a lot more. So maybe I'm just being stubborn, and I don't know, but today I am going to test it. The thing I will be testing is I will be running Slaughter Shaft twice, which... It's just going to take a really long time, but I'm going to record how long it takes to run both slaughter shafts, and then I'm going to record how many legendaries I got on average. So the average time, and then the average amount of legendaries. I will be running my Cryo Zane build, simply because it's the easiest to run through Circle of Slaughter with. It may not be the fastest. Congratulations, guy in the comments. I'm glad you have a faster build than me. This is just the safest build that I can run, and I don't ever die. So I can run through Circle of Slaughter without dying that's what I'll be running for that um, I'll count the legendaries and then after I get the average time and the average amount of legendaries I will go farm agonizer for the average amount of time twice and count the amount of legendaries and see which one drops more legendaries for farming agonizer I will be using my max DPS Zane for my relic, I will be rocking the plus 12 relic, just because it does not, does not decrease my health like the other one. Another thing, the reason Circle of Slaughter does yield so many legendaries, for a lot of you people that do not know why, it has a lot to do with this bottom perk. So, if you want to do Circle of Slaughter, Slaughter Shaft, um, definitely have this perk before you start running it. All of these tests will be done on True Vault Hunter Mode Mayhem 3. Another thing, I will give Slaughter Shaft the benefit of the doubt that you got a good roll on the first time. I could count the time it takes for me to get a good roll. Because I personally do not run Slaughter Shaft with bad rolls. Because it's just a pain. And that will cause me to die a lot. So I will not count the time it takes to re-roll. Just to give Slaughter Shaft that upper hand. But with Agonizer, I never have to re-roll. Now it's tar time to start to this really long, grindy day I set myself up for. Enjoy the content. Finally got the challenges I wanted after like... I don't know... 12 re-rolls. It was quite frustrating. It was at least like 10 minutes of re-rolling. But that's okay. I'm not going to count it in my timer like I said. Maybe you guys are lucky and you get it on the first time. And the other reason I'm not counting it is because you could keep running through Circle of Slaughter on the same challenges. So that's why I'm not counting it. I'm going to start my timer immediately when I accept the quest. Well, Alright. Here we go. Time to start the first Circle Slaughter run. We are 17 minutes in, about halfway done. It looks like 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 7 legendaries. Here we are at the final wave getting 
towards the end. The Titan just died. Only got a few enemies left. I did die two times, I will be honest. But I think that only yields more legendaries. It was on round two. Just a lot of BS. Vortexes really suck with the Zane build. I haven't counted the legendaries yet. I won't count the timer for that. I'll stop the timer and count them after this is done. These might be the last two. Are you the last one, Tinky? There you go. That's the finish at 56 minutes is what we will say. All right. I just counted all of the legendaries on this map. It was 25. One of them I kept because it was a cool anointed. So that makes 25 legendaries in 56 minutes. Let's run the circle of slaughter again. All right, here we are. We're starting our second circle of slaughter with some really good challenges that are going to put our damage up. Now, this should make our circle of slaughter the fastest I possibly can with this Zane build. With already with all uh, with other characters, you could probably do this faster, but it's safer for solo play to play as Cryo Zane. And with these stats right here, you're probably going to do it the fastest. So here we are. We're going to start it. Now we start our timer. Wait for this stupid door to open up. I'm hoping it yields more legendaries than 25 this time. I feel like that was low. But I don't know. I don't do this enough. Alright, let's go! We're about halfway through with 12.30. Here we are at the end of the second slaughter shaft. I died two times again. One of them was just a crappy timing. And the other time, I had two daddy goliaths come out on me. And those are extremely tough to deal with. With Zane, anyways. Amara would have shred right through them. But Zane has a problem with them. I haven't counted the legendaries yet. I'll have to do it after the timer's done. This is the last enemy. There we go. That was 52 minutes and 30 seconds. Let's count the legendaries. All right. I just counted all of the legendaries in this room. I did not like any of them, so they are still on the floor. If someone wants to count my map, I don't know. But it was 22 legendaries in the second run of 52 minutes. So I'm going to say an average of 54 minutes. So now I will be farming the Agonizer. 9,000 for 54 minutes and keep track of my legendaries. Alright, we are at Agonizer 9,000. I am on my max DPS build of Zane. I'm going to count how many kills and legendaries I get in the 54 minutes I farm him to compare to Slaughter Shaft. Now, I will be counting all of my load times, all of my time it takes to look through my legendaries. So timer will not stop throughout this whole thing and i will be counting all the legendaries and kills let's go get the first one not too bad i have a nice anointed corrosive cutsman which helps out a lot here too it's with the sentinel and it gives fire rate and reload speed Oof. Yeah, we almost got the ad there. That's gonna slow down our time a lot if we ever get the ad. That's the first kill with one legendary. Uh, I'm currently at 22 minutes with 17 legendaries with 14 kills. I had to go to the bathroom and I can't pause this timer, so I have to switch it to a countdown timer now. For the last 32 minutes, but that's what we're currently at. Just got kill number 20 with 24 legendaries. 
Here we are. We are coming up on our final kill of Agonizer. We just don't have another enough time for another kill. If these are bad challenges. We might not even have enough time for this kill. And if we run out of time, I just simply won't count it. But hopefully we will have enough time. These loaded screens take forever. I did have a lot of bad runs with Agonizer in this longer ones. That's okay. Expected. It is random, right? RNG. Yeah, this is a good kill. Good deal. A nice kit. Nice final kill here. That will make. 35 kills with 44 legendaries on the agonizer 9054 minutes all right here we are at the end of the long grind today this took a lot of time guys and i'm excited with the info at the end that i have or the statistics i mean so with the slaughter shaft, it took us an average of 54 minutes to finish it. And we had 24 legendaries. I understand that was a really slow slaughter shaft, and you guys probably do it incredibly quicker. But let me go through this data. With the agonizer, I took the average from the slaughter shaft, which was 54 minutes, and I killed them as many times as I could in that time. I believe this was a really bad test on the agonizer. I had 35 kills with 44 legendaries. If I would run it again, I would probably get a lot more kills with a lot more legendaries. But the same thing could be said about the slaughter shaft. I could have a lot higher legendary drop rate. These results would change probably very dramatically every time I do this. If I were to run this a bunch of times over and over, they would be dramatically different. I do not, however, ever believe Slaughter Shaft's legendaries were surpass Agonizers. Even if you were to speed run the Slaughter Shaft in 30 minutes, which is really fast, but I, I guess it's probably possible if you're fast at it and you've practiced it enough, and you're using like a really high DPS Amara or something, and you still only average about 26 legendaries, let's say you get more. I think I would still surpass that with Agonizer by a lot. I average roughly 30 legendaries out of 20 kills, which is about 25 minutes. So I would still be above you with a few minutes less. This is not a video trying to say the Slaughter Shaft is bad. That is not the point of this video. I am simply trying to show that I do believe Agonizer is more efficient. And the data came out that way. There's no manipulated data here. If you would like to see it all live when I did it, you can go to my link in the description of this video and there's a mixer link. You can go there and you can watch my whole stream if you would like. This was all done live. There's no manipulated data here. In the end, you could do whichever you would like. If you find the Circle of Slaughter to be more fun than farming Agonizer, by all means, go do it. It doesn't matter what you do. You're still going to get a lot of legendaries. You're just going to get more from Agonizer. And the biggest thing I need to note in this that I know a lot of people are going to be flipping out about is this is from a solo player's aspect, which is a big difference. If you were to run a four-man through Circle of Slaughter, you would get a lot more legendaries than you would with my solo Zane. At the same time, if you were to run 4-man Agonizer, you would get more legendaries, but it would take way longer because you'd have to keep grouping up. This is something I would like to test later on, hopefully eventually. I don't have very many friends, so it's hard for me to test stuff like this. I'll probably grab some viewers that want to play with me, and we'll go and test it. But in the end, even with 4 people running through Circle of Slaughter with Max Luck Relics, which is the top notch you could probably do with Circle of Slaughter. 
I believe if each one of those four individuals were to farm Agonizer nonstop, they would still yield more legendaries altogether. I would also like to note, I handicapped Agonizer really hard in this. Because I did not add in the amount of time it took to reroll Slaughter Shaft. And I also did not amount the time it took to look through all of the legendaries. This was a really fun video and I had fun with it. Um, I'm glad I tested it out. It was a really big controversial thing on my channel and in my Discord. Not in a bad way, but everyone was kind of curious, I believe, on what the results were here. And now that I have them, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with them. It's kind of what I expected to turn out like. Just not this dramatic, but maybe it wouldn't be this dramatic. Like I said, if I ran this again, it would be different results. But at the end of this video, I do say that Agonizer is more efficient than Slaughter Shaft by about 1.5 times from the data that I have gotten. This video took a really long time. I did have fun with it. It took a long time. So I would really appreciate you guys if you could hit me with a thumbs up if it helped you out at all or you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment about how you feel about it. I'm sure a lot of you are kind of annoyed at the data that I did come up with. Just let me know on how you feel, guys. Just don't be toxic about it. We can talk it. We can talk about it. I like conversation. Um, if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. I produce a lot of tests and tutorials like this. And I will for a very long time. I plan on being here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and sitting through it. I hope it was entertaining. And I will see you guys in the next one.